Hey guys, Hemrio Deluxe Logbook has a whole lot of functionality in it, but here are five things I bet you didn't know. Stick around. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Hemrio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, well, let's jump into item number one um, on my list is the lookup pane. So over here on the left-hand side, a lot of people end up seeing this, which is great. So this is the, uh, the radio pane. And uh, sometimes when folks feel like they don't really need to see the radio because you can put the main and sub up here if you wanted to, uh, people just kind of hide it. Um, but when they do that, they're missing one of the coolest things about, um, about Hamrio Deluxe Logbook, which is the lookup pane. So with the lookup pane, um, you can get all kinds of great information. For example, I can click on this call sign right here, and if I don't double click on it, it won't change the frequency, but then I can see where this individual's located. I can see whether or not I've worked in before. I can tell that because the before column is not lit up here, but, um, this tells me, you know, what have I worked the country on? Um, it's got all his information there, and that's really helpful. Um, one of the things that's cool about this too, now that you're here, um, most of these things can be clicked on. So if I click on Australia, for example, it'll take me to the Wikipedia page for Australia, and I can read about life in Australia. It'll show me a little bit of a map there, which is really pretty interesting. So that's that's helpful and it doesn't really matter which country so I happen well let's pick Wales that would be interesting um, I'll click on Wales and it'll bring up the information about Wales show me where the country is how many people live there what's the demographic so that's pretty cool it's uh, even maybe a little bit educational um, number three um, Google locate which is really pretty cool so I've got these QSOs up here um, in, my, in my log. So let's say for the last um, two days, I want to I wanna show all of them. I'm going to let this go ahead and chime out its alarm here. But um, I want to show all these on uh, Google Maps. So I click on, I right click on them, come in to uh, look up Google Earth, and it'll pull up Google Earth. Ooh showing me all the different routes and paths um, that I used to communicate with people over the last couple of days where they were located. I can flip the globe around a little bit and, and see where those QSOs were. It's really kind of cool. Get over here pretty far. This is, uh, I think this is one in Minami, Torishima or um, Ogasawara, one of the two. Um, pretty cool. So that's, that's an interesting thing. If you just want to see maybe um, you know, just show me one of them. For example, I'm going to say, okay, well, here's um, the Bahamas. So I'll go ahead and right click, come down to Google Earth, and it'll show me my path to the Bahamas. And then that's uh, it's a pretty good map there. And then so um, the next thing is, is uh, if you have a station, let's say that you found over here, for example, you know, let's go with um, VK, VK3AUX. He's in Australia. And uh, I see his coordinates here. If I click on these coordinates, Google Earth will take me over to his QTH. And looks like it's down by, uh, down by Melbourne. And I can drill in. I'm scrolling in with the scroll wheel. It's blurry until it catches up. And uh, VK3AUX apparently lives in a distribution center someplace outside of Melbourne, Australia. Well, let's try a different one. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go over here into HRD Alert because these same features that work in um, in DX Cluster also work in HRD Alert. So let's pick on an American. We'll take uh, uh, N1UL, and I'll click on him. He's in Marco Island, Florida. Zoom, off we go over to Marco Island, Florida, which would be a nice place to live. And he apparently lives in the water. So <laughs> I want to see if I can try to find one where uh, it actually gets me to, uh, to their QTH. 
Um, not everybody has their um, coordinates, by the way, in uh, Q, uh, QRZ.com, so you might find that there are some that are missing. I'll go and hit this one here, which takes me to, uh, to uh, Puerto, Puerto Rico, and uh, I can scroll down and I can see what his working conditions are there in Puerto Rico. So that's, uh, that's the Google search thing. And then finally, um, one of the things that this is number five, I like to have a view of what um, I've uploaded or not to Logbook of the World. So as I make QSOs, I can uh, see the sent status or the received status. So in order to do that, you click here in Layout. And in the layout, you can add whatever you want. Um, for example, if I wanted to, uh, I could add um, CQ zone. So I'll click on that. And I'll right click it over there. And maybe I want it up a little bit higher. Maybe I want it to go up um, after country. So if I click OK now, and I can see the CQ zone over here. It also tells me if I want to go and try to... Uh, do you know populate some of that data in there later? I can uh, I have that column there so I can see it. So that's five things I bet you didn't know. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, again, if you find this helpful, um, click the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe if you'd like, and uh, as always, leave comments in the comments section because we always use them to help us build out um, new uh, videos for later on. So. 73 from WA9PIE.